This race was won last year by Joey Dunlop. In fact, Dunlop blitzed the entire week, but a tumble and a broken collarbone. Again, said Dunlop, he's been broken so many times that new fractures don't always show up on X-rays, has seen the TT star withdraw his entry. Also missing out on this grid is TT and Northwest star Phil McCallan. He is here on the island and will race, but only in selected events. He's still in some pain from an injured shoulder following his traumatic tangle in the Ulster GP. A grid start for these races and the men to watch in this 250 class must be number one, Ian Locker, number two, Brian Reid, and seven, Dave Milling, and eight, Gary Radcliffe, the local man from Douglas. Leader at the moment, number 10, Lee Pullen on the 250 Yamaha ahead of Reed Milling and number five, Jason Griffiths. No sign of locker. By Castletown corner at the end of lap two, it had become a three-way fight at the front between the two Manton men, Pullen and Milling in first and third places with Brian Reed squeezed between them in second spot. Griffiths still there in fourth place, but losing touch slightly and the gap behind him had grown enormously. And now we're looking at the story of the race, the question whether or not Reed could overcome Pullen for the lead. Through Balabeg, he held the front and winding through the lanes on the run across the top of the square towards Belown and cross four ways. Reed on the Loctite Yamaha was still in front but hadn't broken clear. On board with Reed now and from low down by the Yamaha's front wheel, the Belown circuit is typically Manx. This could be the TT course. And now it's Milling, the Cumbrian rider, who's pulled up on his teammate and taken up the running in second place, while Reed still hangs on to the lead. Lapping at just under 100 miles an hour average, the front three are really scratching now. Short circuit racing between the stone walls and the hedges and the straw bales placed here for race week. The hairpin at Balabeg as the laps unfold and still Reed fights to stay in front of Milling. But a mile further on at cross four ways, it's milling ahead with Reed mounting an attack to regain his place. Lee Pullen in third place, Griffith still fourth and still a good way back. And now it's Pullen who's challenging Reed and the Loctite man's fighting to stay second as Griffith retires from fourth place. Last lap, the two teammates race between themselves through the back markers and David Collister lifts his Yamaha aside to let Pullen through and takes the unofficial escape road into the field. Watch it again, Collister 74 on the left of the picture, peels off and turns in on the line, sees the Yamaha goes through, picks it up and luckily the gate is open and into the field he goes. Castletown corner, the last sprint to the flag and Milling looks back to see who is second and it's still Pullen who has smashed the lap record, gone over the ton, but simply cannot catch his teammate as they sprint away to the flag. And it is the chequered flag for Milling, and he crosses the line with one second in hand over his flying teammate. Reed, as you can see, dropped back from the struggle, and last year's 350 winner did it again, Dennis McCulloch, fifth overall and a lap clear of the second place 350 man.